Greetings audience, this is our film about animal and human interactions in the urban environment. I love it when I go to the park, but I was annoyed when I lost my ball. How are you today, doggy? Wait, is that my ball? Woo! I was so scared of that dog. It really hurt when I fell. This dog is actually my friend. Oh, what an ugly, disgusting beast from the sewer. It just popped out of nowhere and tried to eat our feet, man. Oh, man, come on, man. Well, basically, I was just taking a morning stroll. Then I found two teenagers and they panicked when they saw me. I went back to my sewer and reported it to the rat police. It wasn't my fault. Yonk, 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 yonk. So, it's great for, for me as a pet rat, because I have someone who loves me, gives me a great home, you know, and uh, gives me great food. Man, I do love the food. Uh, so, yeah, being a pet rat is actually pretty awesome and pretty cool, because I get to uh, explore the house. I mean, it's a big house, it's like a mansion. It's really a big mansion, and I love it. I'm really sad that my friend died. I'm not going near an airport again. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. Here's your tea. Thank you, Parrot. Here's your treat. Me and my Parrot are best friends and he helps me out a lot. I like my master. He gives me nuts to crack as treats. I like the pandas as they are colourful and one of the laziest animals that ever stepped foot in this world. I like the zoo because they have food every day. My brothers and sisters in the world don't always have food. Sometimes people visit me at the zoo and I'm always interested in them. Well, I think zoos are very comfortable for the animals. They're very good at animals. They feed the animals. They dress, not dress the animals, but they, they give them a good home. They probably love them like their own pets. I feel happy at the zoo because I get stroked and the zookeepers look after me very well. I live with my friends and they're always nice to me. This one time we were playing a game and Amy tripped over. Everyone squeaked with laughter. I'm glad I live here. I love that people come and see me every day, but I wish I could be in a tank and outside. <laughs> one memory is that the fish keep climbing on me. One time yeah. I jumped and my body flew like Superman. The white monkey is going to evolve one day and he has a unique amazing texture. They're very comfy in a small space and very squashed. At that time, um, my mate over there got himself in a bad situation where he fell into a small gap and couldn't get himself out. So one of the humans had to uh, pick him up and put him back in his place and I just called him an umpty for it. Taxidermy is the preparation and preservation of animals for display or scientific study and I really like it because it means you can see animals from all over the world in really fine detail. I would not like to be preserved after I die because it's not natural. We do taxidermy to show people the animals that we have discovered so far. I think it is important because it shows people what different types of animals are out there and that there could be more to be discovered so far. I want to be preserved because I'm more reserved and cute looking and I love my fame. So I want people to see me after I die. The point of taxidermy is to preserve deceased animals for studies and for historic usage. I don't want my skin and flesh to be cut and I don't want to be part of human science. 
I think people do taxidermy for fun. I would like to be preserved in liquid nitrogen after I die because they might be able to bring me back to life in the future. The point of taxidermy is to preserve animals and to remember our pets in a symbolic way. Really? Really? I don't want my body to be like taken out and putting up stuff in me. I don't want to be like stuck out that my body for that forever, man. Come on, come on. Just no, just no, man. Come on. I would like my body to be preserved with juice. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed it.